I'm finna give y'all Southside 101. Let's go. Why did we double the cups? And refrigeration. So what y'all don't understand is, it's just like when you got a coffee sleeve. Yeah. Refrigeration. For one, for refrigeration, it keeps the ice cold. It keeps the ice cold. For two, we was drinking so muddy that shit was eating through the styrofoam. I swear to God. And the next morning, it ain't nothing like having that cup the next morning. That and same it didn't, cup it didn't see it through the sick. It didn't seat through the on, bottle because they used to have super weak cups, cups. styrofoam cups and then back you, then. You, you fuck around yeah. and you're going to see all at the bottom of the cup. Man, you all that rang around. You, you know what that rang yeah, around the rosy? You just get you all fresh. Real all, you yeah. get you a good fresh cup. Oh, yeah. Rang fresh around the rosy. And bless him. Pocket full of moles. Yeah, man. See, I come from that era, man. Y'all ain't heard, y'all ain't heard. It's the dirty third, dirty uh, third. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's going down. It's going down. Uh, yeah. If you ain't heard, it's the gangster party. This here is what you call a fucking gangster party. <laughs> <laughs> I repeat, this is what you call a fucking gangster party. This ain't just that rap shit, nigga. <laughs> That's the killer part. Get it? Killer. <laughs> hey, man. Welcome to the motherfucking Dirty Third Podcast, and you got the host with the most miggity, Mike D. Boss, how Carly on the motherfucking drink lord of this motherfucking gang, because my nephew just said I'm the drink lord, so get what? Today... I'm the Lord of the Skies, nigga. And the Lord, of, the the Lord, you know, you had the Lord yeah. of the Rings, man. You the Lord hey, of the Drink, man. Hey, man, talk to him, man. man. For sure, you know, I don't want to, you know, give him too much, you know. We yeah. Gotta, we, well, we, you we, know, we you know. over that limitation. Fifty Cent on his way to come do this uh, codeine story, and my whole thing is, man, let it go. Cause guess what? You're not gonna talk about a nigga from Baytown that made bathroom drink in his bathroom in the tub. And call him the motherfucking drink man because he ran the score up on the clock. We getting the paper. Hey, hey, Phil. <laughs> we still got them M and M's. And guess what? They really came from that, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so yeah, it's a different. And Fifty, you from the street, so you know a, a street M M&M, and M. It different from a corporate M M&M, and M man. 100%. We had to, we had to lose niggas. We had to bruise niggas. We had to jump on these planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. How you gonna get it home? Man, hey, and transportation it's just a lot of run. Shit. It's just yeah. a lot of shit that I ain't never really talked about because, hey. like, I don't got to tell niggas, you know, every time, man, my man. Nigga, every, you know. <laughs> uh, it speak for itself. And, and not only that, I don't even have to say it. I, the OGs will tell you about me. I ain't, it ain't oh. even no. <laughs> and that's where we going to kick it off right there, man. Rest in peace to Lil' No, man. 100%. Rest man. in peace to DP, man. 100%. Rest in peace to Big Hawk, man. That's the reason why I got this on my neck. Just this for them to see it. Cause Fat you to know, the pat. You know what all this, everything he naming huh. is this. Hey, Amen. You know what and, I mean? And, and, and run them down with it, man. I'm so gonna, it's, it's really, you know, being being that we from the streets and then dead end, you know, niggas, you see all the whole click and it be like, man, fuck them niggas. Real talk, so fuck, fuck you, you too. too. And not Ooh. only that, it was family united together. That's what I was just finna say. I know y'all had a two-way meaning to yeah. it, too. Yeah, Fuck you I too, remember. Family yeah. Night, you know, the dead-end response team, if you know, you know. Ooh. <laughs> Who came up with the actual F you two? Tobe. Tobe. I Tobe always wanted to know, know that, man. But Tobe is the creator of that shit. And I'm talking about, man, y'all still yeah, to this all day. All the niggas, them niggas talk about steppers, the niggas y'all making, y'all rap songs about. I was around them niggas, hey, and I was with go, them niggas. He go the killer part about it all, man, is if you go to Super Bowl from, and I don't like to be like a nigga that live in the past, but if you go from 99 all the way to shit, whenever you want to stop, FU2, DSD1, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Boys in blue. Yeah. No, I'm oh, talking man. about it. I ain't talking about the police. I'm like talking the about the boys in blue. Shout Got out, Thugger. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. Rico's and all them type of people, yeah. man. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Sleep. Oh, You know, God. there's so many niggas, man. Like, Yo. Hold man. up. And what about the glued up click? Yeah. 
I mean, man, if you know, you the know. The glued up click. Man, if you know, you know, man. You hey, know. Man. R.I.P. Doyo, man. man. R.I.P. Papa Roach, man. R.I.P. b -Dine. Like, this shit go deep, man. You know, that's that's that shit when drink was plentiful. Ooh. You know, I hear a lot of niggas saying that they the, the, the king of the drink and the kings of this and... That shit started here. The king really on side of me. Hey, man. Like, really, the actual, the just be the actual factual, the the, the real king right there. Hit you know what I mean? Head. You know what I mean? So, and it ain't that we glorifying this shit. I just think niggas be Back needing up. a niggas be needing a proper history lesson. Right. I don't really tell niggas that much about what I and how I, but niggas want to know how and what this was, my nigga. Yeah. I come from yeah. a real long yeah. live of number stumped down gangsters. Hey, and, man. And, and, and all my niggas was and is the niggas. And niggas always like, man, uh, so Killer Calion, Michael Calion, who is who? I was never a face on the record cover type of nigga. Never. Lab Texas got a Texas and Louisiana on that thing. Like a motherfucker. Even Beyonce know that album. But a lot, of, a lot of niggas ain't know you didn't want to be seen. Oh, no. <laughs> For what? I was scared, bro. Yeah, you was too deep in there. Man, I'm talking about, you, man, it's too much going on for a nigga to just be like, it was him. Yeah. And that's when the feds was really making moves off. That's him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's yeah. a conspiracy, it's two or more get together yeah. and they say, and it don't take him. that and don't get that fucked up like he gave me this hell. I'm gonna give it give you the game. Uh, they didn't even know I rapped. At all. This nigga was drawing, bro. <laughs> Real I was tough, drawing, man. spray painting and doing all yeah, that. Them yeah. niggas ain't know. And he'll tell you what was over screw turn tape. Man, man his gotta... drawings, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's the killer part, man. Boys don't know, man. We never really wanted you in the game, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. We never really wanted want me hustling. nothing up under yeah. us in them streets, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it was a blessing that you just picked up on the rap shit. Because, see, boys don't know you. You good on the north and the south. Yeah. That's a hell of a motherfucking thing. I'm good in Sunnyside and Third Ward. <laughs> this nigga good on the north and the Hold up. Let me just tell y'all something. During a time <laughs> when it wasn't okay to be from the north or the south. If you on the north, it's not cool to be from the south. If you on the south, it's not cool to be from the north. But you talking about blood relatives right here next to me, man. You know what I'm saying? So he good wherever he walk. You know what I'm saying? Before F U two. Drawings over screw shit and all little kid up in there with us, man. And it, it just don't surprise me that you the monster you are today, man. You know I mean, look saying? at the shit I was around. I yeah. consumed too much shit. You know what I mean? Hey, man. It it was like I didn't, I tell a lot of niggas, you know, I don't got none of them stores of struggling and all this shit. I don't, oh. I don't even got none of them stores <laughs> simply because. But it ain't no Silver Spoon story. Nah, definitely not. Y'all niggas was at Screw House getting fucked up making tapes. That's it, so something to ride to. Y'all wasn't giving a fuck about Gotta doing no rapping. The you, one girl. I know for sure, the done was going to be the done. Oh, yeah. Nah, the Dunn really had, he it, had it, it on his mind. Way. On his mind. Because when he seen. seen Pat playing, I swear to God, he used to come in as the young nigga, as you did too when it was your time, and with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, because he want he, he wanted to smash. And me seeing that chip right. made me desire that chip. Cause when I got Amen. around, I ain't gonna cap you down. I was listening to a lot of niggas rap, and I like, I don't like this shit. Niggas can't really rap like talking about. And mm -hmm. then I started hearing and really taking that listen. Mm -hmm. And once y'all niggas start knowing, this the nigga that named me. That's what I was just finna say. Cause, uh, <laughs> well, it come from Chris Ward them playing with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your name Kyle, and they were just playing with you. That's just how we do. We a ranking mm -hmm. click, man. This is what we do, man. Uh, uh, smiley on, Kylie on, Tally on, whatever. And then the shit stuck. I'm like, man, you got killer Kylie on. Run with it, bruh. Yeah. Man, I'm talking about it. Because I'm And on, then it's just crazy that your shit is yeah. run it. Yeah. Because you ran with it, bruh. Yeah, like a motherfucker. I, I couldn't be proud of another nigga to take a piece of the name and just run it and then become this. Become greater than everything in the city. You and know I what I'm saying? Or, or, really, or really greater than anything in the South because they scared of you. You and Zero got niggas shook when it come to that booth. They so scared, bro. I mean, I really didn't even want to talk about no rap shit, to be honest with you. Because yeah. we got so much. It'll take us part one, part two, part three, part four. But we going to go and get y'all. I had to do this yeah. simply because 
And it's like and I he had don't to do, do this, it, y'all. Do, do it when it was right, simply because you doing it. It's different. Mm. It, it, it's not a stamp. If 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 you could ever stamp something from a real live OG that I know beyond rap. This man to me ain't never been a rapper to me. Nigga just, no. n- the nigga just knew how to talk shit good than a motherfucker. And I had a voice. And the voice just been yeah. live. Yeah, it, it I, just, I, I can, it I just, around it, cat in the head. The thing is, sense. when you popped the screw on and it was his, oh, his yeah. screws was the livest. Oh yeah, yeah. The, and I got that from Lil Randy. I got, I got to get a head so Randy, Rhino, Rhino, Randy, boy. Big Leno. Rhino, well, really, Randy. Them some tape making motherfuckers. Oh no, nah, no, no, no bullshit. Randy a DJ now. You Randy feel me? lived in a motherfucker. I'm talking about doing because he was the he one got taking caught up screw. in that passion. He was taking screw to Sam's to get the big boxes. You know, Lil D was taking him too, but Randy really took heed in like, man, he go at Tuesday at eight o'clock. I'm there to take him. Screw the only nigga with a car that never drove the car. <laughs> I'm talking about, man, somebody finna come, drive him wherever he gotta go, because it ain't no leaving that gate. That gate open at eight, my nigga, man, that bitch finna rock to every tape gone. To every tape. They, they went in gone. the house twice, man, looking for drugs. Twice. So the first time you go, you don't find nothing, so you think it's a fluke. You running at a second time is not a fluke. This man is a DJ 100%. with traffic. If the gate open at eight, at six o'clock is wrapped from here to Trillburg. Like a motherfucker. With all kind of slabs, cars, dope dealers from the south, north, east, west, niggas from the north, like Paul Wall said. Yeah. Sneaking and jamming that screw tape. You know yeah, what I mean? That was the truth. It, it just was what it was because, like, when you create your own genre of music, it's infectious. Everybody wants a part of it. The college scene, the women, the Negroes, the squares, the hustlers, the players. Man, shout out DJ Screw, man. The greatest man, ever out, to do this shit, I man. I swear, man, to just be even after all these years, that's the beauty and the blessing that I got. I actually watched this shit become something. You know, me, me and one of my best friends just had a show at the, at the art museum, the um the Black American um, Art Museum mm. in Third War. We had a show where we pretty much was just speaking on culture and how much of an influence this culture, me watching this shit come to fruition huh. and seeing this shit now, me being in middle school- no, that shit fuck you up. With these tapes and niggas looking at me crazy and like, the motherfucker, what, what the fuck are you listening to? Yeah. And it's like- yeah. Be being on the north, having to leave South Park to go back mm-hmm. to the north side. Leave the north side. So what was it? Go, your mom stayed out my there? Mom, my mom and in the garden. Yeah, yeah. And, my, and my dad, my mom's side, north side, my mm-hmm. dad's side, south, south side. side. So probably just a player. He knew what he was doing. He, man, it, it was, just, yeah, it, it went. It worked like, like that. And you know what I mean? They both went together, went went to school together at TSU. Oh, you know what man. I mean? And it, and it popped out like that, but it's just being around, it fucked me up when I look at that shit. So now, your summer was split up. My summers and weeks in, in during, I'm in South yeah, Park. Cause and I know, know, I you know, I didn't even know that you had yeah, Northside Tide. Cause when I see you, you out here so much. Yeah. But that's how people in Louisiana used to do, me too, in Lafayette. Yeah. I'm out there so, so much, much, motherfucker, you go out there, they gonna tell you, nah, he from here. Yeah. And my people really from Monroe. Yeah. But I got family in both cities. Yeah. But that you know was the beauty, saying? like, yeah. and what was so crazy on the rap side, is me being on the north, it was it wasn't no different. It wasn't shit to see y'all at my grandmother's house. Exactly. My grandmother's house was the hood. That what I was just finna say. You raised that garage up, man. Everybody was, sitting it, out there it, all it's day. It's the hood. Man, we, how many, how many reading materials? And if you know, you know. I, I mean, just I mean, just figuratively speaking, man, might have went through there. Over a well over a few thousand. Man, boy. Well over Man. a few thousand. That bitch was a library. I've made so <laughs> much money. Exactly. That bitch was a library. A, a very, a very uh, astute uh, library. I'm talking about very lucrative. The, lucrative. Very lucrative. The library. biggest uh, no homo uh, uh, library in the world. Man, listen. I've man. made so much money just coming to the motherfucker. Yeah. And leaving the motherfucker. Fucker. That's that's what I'm saying, <laughs> brother. Like being over there. 
being over there and coming over here, I'm around you. I'm around Pope. I'm around Hawk. Right. I'm around these. I'm around you niggas every day, all day. Ain't so when I go back to the other side, y'all gods, and I'm like, nigga, right. these is my everyday family member. These exactly. my niggas. Then, but when I get over there, I'm around. I'm around all of the niggas. That's the nigga out there. Man, that's I'm what around I was just D Trinity Garden Cartel. Did you have? Uh, I'm around Slaughter. That's what I was just finna I'm say. I'm around all yeah, these niggas. So, so you had the blessing to be able to say that the same thing. Well, I would say where they just like were you around your family members out there, but you was you your game was blessed on both ends. Nigga, I'm 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 oh, with, you were born to be with you. Yeah. Come on, man. That's what three in the morning came from. I swear. And, That's and, what and, niggas and, don't and know. That's six what six in the morning. Yes, in some occasions. In some occasions, cause a nigga gonna be probably leaning. Yeah. And you then right in. when right when right when dip became popular, y'all use y'all cry. This this some this some South right. Park third wall shit I'm about to give you right yeah. now. Yeah, all the walls. They got these motherfuckers the called ganks. They used to call them ganks. Ooh, run G. Yeah. Biscuit. G Biscuit, yeah, I already know. G Biscuit, Al. G Biscuit and Al, them two motherfuckers. I'm gonna I'm get on Al, bitch ass, too. Because yeah, Al gonna ride around high than a motherfucker two, with baby. Thousand. With baby in with the trophy. Baby. In the and, trophy and, truck. And, and 200, 300,000 in possession. In possession. And sick and baby on niggas yeah. while he high. Oh, I'm talking about man. <laughs> that nigga was that a that monster. Blue pit shout, baby. Out, shout out my nigga, man. Rest yeah, in peace, peace Al, man. Man, the wishes, man. Old hey, Pony Boy. Man. Pony Boy. Old oh, oh, Pony Boy. Old oh, Pony Boy. Old oh, Pony Boy, man. <laughs> boy, we, boy, everybody we had, had some type of man, crazy day, man. Tell, that's how I got my name. Yeah, square business, It's just crazy, bro. Just ranking, just having fun. Just to know and to see this man didn't do what other DJs did. Let me let me explain yeah. you how great this man. Right. Why and, this man and, and the five, greatest. I'll be telling you, bro. Watch let, what he say. Let me, let me tell you how great this nigga was. None of the mixes that y'all hear was prepared. Ever. Off the None top of, of the that dome. Shit was prepared. How that nigga blend, that nigga blended with our headphones. That nigga will probably be pouring up a cup Amen. and that bitch going. A lot of the times when you just hear the instrumental going, he thinking. we session. It, it's yeah, a, it's yeah, really nigga yeah. rolling weed, nigga yeah. getting the cups yeah. together. Yeah, getting it. Getting it and getting a nigga it. just seeing where it's going to go. And the talking started right over there. Yeah. This was one of yeah. the first narrators. Through the tape. So right. everything that y'all hear from the word slab, is created at the screw house. For All sure. this shit is created. And, and let's give Lil T. Go. Let's give Lil T his his uh his his flowers and just do. Pat was making fun of Lil T with the talk. Yeah, this whole South Side, which All is now H Town talk. Hold up, my ain't no to my. Eye. That, that's yeah. straight Lil T. That's Lil T, man, and that's Pat making fun of this nigga, bro. Yeah. And it's stuck. Same. Got on them See, boy said something player, yeah, but he yeah, ain't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the book. I ain't going to lie. That hey, is hey, the liveest quote if you. Hey, and he was for real. He Pat was dead ass serious. He was for real. Shout out Big Lenny. I love him to death, man. man. But that's just where the ranking come from. Yeah, that, that just, bitch going to start ranking. And he going to rank. And, and really, if you couldn't rank. Stop, you had to stay. You, you could come nowhere oh, by the garage if you mm -hmm. couldn't rank. Or screw highs. Do you could not, not or do not laugh too long. Yeah, because you're gonna be the joke. Because that's what they waiting on. See, the nigga whoever getting jokes, he waiting on any sideline nigga to, to just laugh a little bit too much. I know you ain't laughing with your. Yeah, it's going to go. And there it is. Pop, 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 pop. Man, now the whole house watch switch this on shit, you. though, bro. But Lil T, shout out Lil T, shout man. Out Lil Rest T in peace, sure. Pat. All y'all niggas, still out this, here. this how you know importance of school Bubba tapes. Love. Niggas got they names off niggas' names from screw tapes. Straight up, bro. My uncles and cousins, all these niggas got body doubles. Laro, yeah, yeah. John O's. Laro. You know what I mean? Everybody got My a birthday name. twin. When you are, when, when it, you always knew, a, see, within within the city, if you a Houstonian, yeah. 
you knew by the lingo and the way we talk, you knew certain sides of time. Where you was from. You and knew. at that time, you was straight up South Park, Third Ward. If you know what I'm talking about, know what I'm saying? Anytime you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. you feel me, and then you now with you the hands, me with and then you the business. <laughs> yeah, yeah the business. Yeah. Get your business <laughs> fixed. Yeah. Kiwi, yeah. Wheel Lean. Hey, let, the best drink mixer, sirs, on the south side. Best drink mixer. Gotta say you. Uh-huh. I gotta say, my uncle Bert. Oh, Bert, a fool. He a scientist. I gotta See, say, Bert be like on the science part yeah, of it. Like, Bert, this much gonna yeah, Bert take gonna that, be that much to the weed yeah. gotta be rolled specifically. Oh, yes, indeed. Then them Damn. niggas, the way that. Willeen was the master. The chemist is the master <laughs> of the mixes. Willeen create. For sure. He's a sensei. For sure. Kiwi. For sure. Kiwi. Yeah. Fat boy. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta talk Fat about boy. Mo. Fat Gotta boy. talk about Mo. Hold on, before we go, Kiwi. Kiwi, where's your slear? I know he's somewhere <laughs> with that slear on. Get that slear and put it up, man. I'm gonna come take your slear. You ain't run G slear. I'm coming for your slears. Hey, okay, who are you say that big boy, big Mo? Oh yeah, Mo for sure. That's double cup, four cup, muddy man. Yeah. You ain't never seen a nigga had a cup he drinking and then that back door cup back here. And and see, see this the one that everybody can hit. Yeah, you can hit that one, but he already you got another touch, one. You, you, ain't, you, you, ain't, you ain't touching hey, baby, that, tell you. You ain't touching that so bad niggas, son bitch back here. Niggas though. don't understand. No way. Big Mo. I'm finna give y'all Southside 101. Let's go. Why did we double the cups? And refrigeration. So what y'all don't understand is, it's just like when you got a coffee sleeve. Yeah. Refrigeration. Starbucks. For one, for refrigeration, it keeps the ice cold. It keeps the ice cold. For two, we was drinking so muddy that she was eating through the styrofoam. I swear to God. And the next morning, it ain't nothing like having that cup the next morning. That and same it didn't, cup it didn't seep it through the sick. it didn't seep man, through the bottle because they used to have super weak cups, cups. styrofoam cups. And then back you, then. you you fuck around yeah. and you gonna see all at the bottom of the cup. Man, you ain't oh, got that rang around. You know what that yeah, rang around yeah, the rosy? You just get you a fresh. Real, oh, you yeah. get you a good fresh cup. Oh yeah, rang fresh around the rosy and bless him. Pocket full of moles. Yeah, man. See, <laughs> I come from that era, man. Hey, man. And let me tell y'all something since he there, man. Let me give you a little history for for you jumped off, man. We used to at my crib. We would have a punch bowl. This is a bowl that your mama make for Christmas with the with the with the with the bowl, right? Yeah. So this before styrofoam. This before the plastic liquor cups. This is facts. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, man, get it up one time. Because yeah. the drink man did this here. Yeah. Hey, man, we would pass that bad summer bitch around, bro. I would pour a two liter in that bitch, right? And then I'm finna dunk a piñata. All the way in. Because you got to understand, bar, URL, goal line. And, 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 y'all ain't ready for it. They, they don't, they don't y'all even just know, know about bar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't even know anyway, about, give it, give it yeah. back. If you don't know nothing about the Plemento George, you uh, wouldn't uh, know. Uh, leave me alone. And you, and you had to go to the tray to get them. And leave me alone. And they were really one and a half. That's why I started Come that. On, I you. started that too, man. The motherfuckers stank so bad, man. And I tell you a story <laughs> about Jonathan Riley. Because we had to dump so many out to, to do a whole case. It was one and a half, and then the foes was three. So I yeah. got five foes out of every motherfucker. Yeah, come on. Yeah, man. I was killing them back then. Before, <laughs> I made niggas start getting baby bottles. Yeah, I swear to God, them. cause I'm killing you. I'm killing you, and I'm only showing a few. Niggas start getting baby bottles, cause old Dick Bone Dixon. Hey, I'm peeling your cap back <laughs> all the way to the meat. Come back. So. We had the punch bowl, brother, because it wasn't a bunch of people drinking all back then. Yeah. So we would have punch bowl parties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we'll pass that bad motherfucker around. We had a 50 box of cigars. Perfect those. Yeah, perfect Swisher those. Sweet perfect those. We get a, a a pound of that Reggie Miller. Yeah. The best Reggie Miller. Because yeah. don't forget Mexico they used to right call there. The cuz. Yeah. Oh, yeah we cuz. Did, this before Phil with the cuz. Yeah. Because you know, that was an Arizona thing. Goddamn right. You know what Talk I'm saying? To him. So we talking about top of the line, tie stick, motherfucking red hair. Red, you know, Sisamia, yeah. what the Jamaicans today will only smoke because it come from the Mother Earth. 
So we yeah. had the best. I have a trash can, trash bag full of that shit laying around. And it was Lil Marcus, Princess Richie, yeah. her uncle. Yeah. His job was to roll the weed. There it is. And keep the cups pulled. And keep he, the cups He was the polo uh, bank robber, polo God bandit. Damn. Yes, Yeah, Marcus. Shout out Marcus Richardson, my brother. And shout out Kim, my baby, man. And Richie. Moni Love. Yeah, like a mother. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, Moni Love. <laughs> man, that's my stepdaughter, man. I, I got to I got to She's my daughter, but I got to say that because I got to get Lamone. She tough than a mother. I got, I got, I got to leave Lamone room because we, you know what I mean? Yeah. We shared her, man. You know what I yeah. mean? I knew she was going to be something in me. We, we going to get back to that. But his job was to roll it, keep that motherfucking 50 box. So when you having what they call kickbacks today, yeah. Man, we was having smoke and drink. Man, listen, backs. that's all the fuck the garage was. Uh, I think back. I think we we did more kicking it than hustling cuz once the hustling was done, we having fun. We having too much motherfucking fun. Yeah. And you it, 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 we could never leave because everybody so fucked up. Nah, we ain't nah, never nah, leave, nah, nigga, nah, we watch nah. whole, like Ben's watching shit. Yeah. We all, we, remember when the Sopranos hit? Oh my God. And the wire. And the wire. Oh, we were sitting man. at the garage. And, and watch that shit. And watch that shit. Oh. And get high to these and motherfuckers. Over. And oh, oh that man. was the DVD man days, yeah, man. Yeah. Niggas, hey, man, we could be here till <laughs> next days, week. Yeah, but, man, running it, man. Yeah. Is it? Run it. None time back, but yeah, man, but nah. I just want to punch you, Oh, we welcome. I gotta brother. thank you, man, because you're welcome, man. Y'all niggas meant so much to me in this shit, and what you don't know, and I tell y'all a lot, bro. What made me go so hard? Okay. Cause I always felt like I had something to prove to y'all. Yeah. I didn't really give a fuck about outside of y'all. I swear to God, outside of y'all, I didn't really give a Straight fuck. Up. I didn't, I, I, honestly, I didn't give a fuck who fucked with it or not. My thing was. How they feel. I need them niggas approve on everything I do. And y'all niggas was so stiff and stern to where if I can get y'all to just. And, and if if you're jamming and see with them, they, we would, never, they would never, they would never, if they knew I was live, but they'll never overtell me. Because we want you to do better. Them niggas would never. That's how that and I'd be like, damn. Nigga, I think I just said some shit. And them niggas be like, that's cool. Nigga Pat told me that Billy Cook was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Billy Cook, Cindy Shout Cook. Out Billy. Hey, man. That nigga now. We left the studio. The song had no Billy Cook on it, right? Everybody know, you know, it's my money being spent for the shit. Me and Swift and now Pat was with Blunt this time. Yeah. We go back to the studio and I'm just doing what a CEO do. I'm reviewing the music. Yeah. Me and Swift both saying, man, we talking about superstar, y'all. Yeah. For those that don't know. Yeah. Player haters want to know. So we there's something missing. It was just Pat singing, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. We just swinging, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Player haters want to know who you are. We ain't coming, coming down, down like a superstar. Come on, so it man. had Pat with the with the vocals in the back, with the little ad libs in the back, kind of harmonizing. The nigga needed that Billy. I put, I told Billy to come. Well, he was there, and I heard him going, and I'm like, "Hey, bro, do me a favor, go in there, cause you know we freestyled the whole song. Whole song, I know that. It's straight freestyle. That's what a lot of y'all real don't freestyle. Know. Not niggas, not, did not the half write wrote down none shit. of that shit. Nah, 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 nah. We talking about real freestyling. So I say, Billy. Go run in there right quick. Pat nowhere around. It's me and Swift. He go in there and he start. I just say, man, because I'm knowing how Pat going to get on me for fucking <laughs> with this. My money, my studio, and my Pat producer. Get, and Pat get on your that. ass. But well, let me tell you how it is. My money wasn't shit because we had a 50-50 talent and money. Why niggas talking about man? My I'm gonna talent go there with you. As soon as you finish yeah. that, I'm gonna go on and open up for those that don't yeah. know my true story or how this shit how I came from here oh, to there. Man, yeah. It's finna fuck y'all up. Boy. How far okay. I'm finna go? Cause he I'm going now, so it's, I'm finna go. So there. let me open the door for you, right? So Cook, go in there and do what you hear today. Yeah. Blows my mind. That I was ready to out. sign him 
Right then and there. Right then and there, but he had a situation going yeah. on. I had a lightweight sack in the car. I was ready again, man. Yeah. 20, 30, I don't know what it, whatever it was, I was going to give him every penny to come join Player Down Production. Yeah. That was our record label. Yeah, yeah I remember so, all that. This nigga went in there and went crazy. We recorded. Pat, I'm so ecstatic. I'm like, man, he hit this. He finna say, man, bro. Because this whole thing used to be, nigga, I'm going to make you throw them Pyrexes away. <laughs> I ain't throwing the Pyrexes away, Pat. We got, how you think we paying for this shit? <laughs> but he knew we were going to make it. Yeah. He knew it. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing of me seeing all that shit. Once I seen that shit in motion, my hair used to stand up every time I and was around. do that, bro. Because it was like, it, bro, it's, this, it's, it this moved shit, you like that. This shit is history. So the man, I pull up on him, we had BAMs. I had the Corolla with the knock. Everybody had a hoop with knock in it. A hoop is just an undercover. Un a, a clean undercover. So y'all ain't from Houston. It ain't no regular undercover. No, we call them hoops. No, no, no. They the was trunk clean don't get raggedy because we gonna have two 18s or two 15s and that bitch beating down the block knocking pictures off the wall. <laughs> yeah, pre Young. Shout out Young. Yeah. So the man, everybody around, we jamming. It's Condre, it's Northdale, it's South Park, it's Blunt, it's. Is everybody at Bam's Auto and Detailing, right? Yeah. They going crazy. When they, when you cut Because the they heard off. it without it. Yeah. But now don't forget it, it was Billy. a war about that tape that God we'll go into another God, into yeah. a whole nother MLK shootout about this tape. So everybody had heard it at this time. Yeah. So they like, oh my God, these boys finna run the radio crazy. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. 3-2 used did. to be so reserved. He was so in his bag at that moment. Wicked Buddha, baby. Yeah. Walk outside, spend a thousand a day, every day at will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting show money for. I knew he was going in the back room. Getting. I thought all that was free. He didn't go in the back room getting 10, 20 back then. You like know what I'm nothing. saying? I ain't know he was really getting the money. But he yeah. had a thousand to blow every day. So even 3-2 was shaking his motherfucking head. Because we couldn't rap to 3 he was just my best man, friend that was trying and, to help and me. Nicole, and we Nicole was the sorriest rappers in the world. In the world of three, man, man listen. To niggas three, don't know. The, niggas used to hate let me tell you three something. because he was, they thought he Watch was yourself. so bougie because he was a real just the cold, rapper. Just the cold part. It wouldn't even be no Snoop Doggy Dogg if, if it wasn't no three, and, and, and look, got that story. Pat looked everybody going crazy. Pat looked at me and said, I can't believe you done that to my soul. I mean, I pet with you, man. That nigga that took a look at everybody's faces. I mean, he a hate, but he ain't PAT. Yeah. I he, say, oh, man, this nigga, so. yeah, shout out, Pat. Man, this nigga was say, the most arrogant, the most man. Arrogant, I know I got this shit, man. But live as nigga, so that's say, why I'm going to go. I go in the mind, I'm going to give man, you the spirit. Man, go ahead, man. My favorite is all good. Mmm. Southside Shout out 3 2, man. Rest in peace, my brother. Southside Plills. Mm. Okay. This one here, hey. niggas ain't finna understand this one. Yeah. But to this day, uh -huh. this bitch be in rotation every day. Mind over matter, bro. Ooh. Boy, you talking, boy. Hey, and them ain't the. See, most them, niggas these ain't say, the normal type. Most niggas gonna say. Plots and schemes, Hellraisers, June 27, uh, uh, leaning on the switch. For sure, leaning on the switch. That was in my shit show. This man went there and let me know you a screw storyian. Not a yeah. historian. Yeah. You was a screw story. Yeah. Not I, a historian. I, I, I know. I know them ones. Oh, yeah. See, niggas yeah. just, them, the, them, you can't tell me shit about schemes, killer, man. Plots and schemes. Leaning on the switch. Hey man, them was the biggest tapes. For real, for real. Them was the biggest tapes. These bitches. And I'm June twenty seven was popular. Yeah, it was popular. Hell raised. Well, no, hell June twenty seven ain't, ain't ain't really I, 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 jamming. We went like, into another gear because that was the hell raised was the first tape that we went all the way through on a regular beat. We walked in and Screw was making that beat. Yeah. Pokey walked in while we was rapping. Yeah. We rapped so long, hard job used to write down. He had no more write downs to go in his head. 
you talking a hundred and twenty minute tape, man, or nothing but rapping. Yeah. Me and Poke went back to back, man, and that's when I had to get to him that day. I said, boy, that big Pokey be wrecking and, me. And, and that's why I'm finna tell you. Coming that's what from your partner, me, get the mic. D. Man, listen. Because it was competition. That's how I can't. It Ate my 100%. ass up, man. You know what i He just killed me, but he let me know he was the hardest pit in the litter, for real. To go with me a whole tape. And you was a, you was a Come monster. Come on, man. A whole monster. Come on, man. To that go there? And to me, it seemed like niggas, when you had Mike on the tape, that solidified the liveness of the, the tape gonna be live as yeah. fuck then. Yeah, yeah. Your, when you your, jumped your on. Your street credentials just went through. That mean y'all was tell on the gallon. You and man Pudo. Oh yeah, Poopaka. My third war brother. And see the thing about Poopak, Poopak gonna get on that bitch and Poopak gonna give you the talk you I supposed swear. to have. He's a great talker too though. That, that boy gonna have we, that we, talking we forgot, on yeah. them. He was a good motherfucking me, cause and Pat Lemon was our, I mean, and I gotta say fan because he gonna say it, man. He was our greatest fan, man. That man, little Kiki, Pat. He would go to war with Pat because of him and Kiki little competition <laughs> yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to say that they was like I always. It was, it was they get it mixed up when it I was be saying that they had flex. They had no play. rap flex. Yeah, like competition flex. One hundred percent. It was. Shit, I'm gonna get that hole today. She yeah. get that hole tomorrow. You know, yeah. that type of And then them niggas gonna be on the tape. And they took it wrong. Them niggas, when I'ma tell you the hardest shit ever is when them niggas went off on been around the world. Oh yeah. Oh, talk your shit. See, niggas man. don't see niggas don't really know. This nigga didn't turn the what? interview to me, man. God damn, this nigga good, man. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. What? And the thing is, it's like and that I'm MC gonna go light beat. Goddamn right. As niggas can't see me. Yeah. Goddamn right. That was my birthday. But this, I'm finna really fuck it. It wasn't nothing like a screw up. tape on your birthday, no, though. It, like a motherfucker. That, that was, was the liveest Christmas. ones. Anytime. Because y'all finna be drinking and smoking the best of everything. Oh, my God. But, man, me being over there huh. and me seeing it, that's what tapped me in the world. This for sure what I'm finna do, but I got to do it on a higher level. Yeah. To prove to these niggas that I can do it, so and take around this to the time, next level. Yeah. these niggas not even knowing this what I do. Screw just telling me, nigga, you drawing. I used to draw the nigga pictures. He put them over the turntables. He like, nigga, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna you get and you. you and Din Din from the tray. Yeah, y'all both had y'all drawing. He sent the handkerchief in. You had the drawings. Yeah, yeah, the so, paper nigga, drawings. Yeah. By this time, now I tap into the north side. So them niggas know everybody out there. On the block where my mother from is Weaver Road. Weaver Road boys. Them niggas were so, wide. So motherfucking Slaughter. Oh, you talking about. Ice Water Slaughter. You talking about Trinity Garden Cartel. Cartel. D. Uh, man, rest in the peace first. to the realest nigga yeah. on the north, man. man. Chucky man. Trio, man. For sure, that for nigga sure. fed baby for real, man. That nigga is, hey man, Chucky Trio would have been the zero of the north if he'd have been living right now, bro. Yeah. Or bigger. Nah, he he he, he was or bigger. Be that's, and for niggas that don't know, that's that's D son, D a trend. That's what I'm trying son. to tell you. It was in but his blood, it's, man. I'm finna go deep. Watch this. So at this time, I'm at Barbara Jordan. And so I'm finna fuck your head up how this story go. I ain't never really told it this in depth. I'm finna go probably like a good 10 minute spill and I'm Let's finna give go. you I'm, I'm finna give hey, you the spill. Let me take so, my shirt off because I, I wore his shirt on purpose, y'all, yeah. before he gets started. Right on. Yeah, this is so, rest in peace, big pokey, cause this, yeah, they had that mob yeah, style yeah. before it was cool to be mob style. Yeah. So nigga, 